Art is an important part of society. It's in everything we do and see and it helps inspire, motivate, create, and other stuff. I'm no art expert, but even an uncultured fuck such as myself can appreciate the works of the greatest, like Van Gogh and M.C. Escher. But then again, I'm also easily amused by bright colors and stares to nowhere, so I guess that doesn't mean much. The Bridge is a puzzle-style indie game made by Ty Taylor and Mario Castaneda, and was released on PS3, PS4, Xbox One, Wii U, PC, blah blah blah, pretty much everything. In The Bridge, you play as some lazy dipshit who gets hit in the head by an apple, and enters a coma where he needs to traverse the inner workings of his mind in order to escape back to reality before his family pulls the plug on him. That's probably not the truth, but it sounds good, so I'm gonna go with it. The gameplay is pretty simple. You move the coma patient left and right, and you can also rotate the level clockwise and counterclockwise in order to reach different platforms and ultimately the door that ends the level. You can also rewind time if you mess up or die, so there really isn't any consequences for failure. In your face, mom! In later levels, the game introduces different obstacles, such as keys needed to unlock the door, a big bad scary ball with a creepy face that'll vaporize you if you touch it, a vortex that sucks you or anything else that touches it into it, and probably some other stuff at some point. It also introduces new mechanics, like one that flips the level and turns you white. That sounds a lot worse than it actually is. The graphics of the game are in an art style that is heavily influenced by the awkward perspective, monochromatic works of famous artist MC Escher, surprisingly making my intro completely relevant. This art style really works for me and adds a lot of depth to the puzzles, making them both functional and pleasant to look at. The music is sort of calming and almost eerie, which really adds to the atmosphere, so no complaints here, except my coffee has become a tad cold. But I guess that's not too bad, I put so much creamer in it that it doesn't taste all that bad cold, but I have the AC on, so I'd rather be drinking a warm coffee. I could just get up and turn the AC off, but that's like 10 feet away, so yeah, that's not gonna happen. The puzzles in the game can become quite challenging, but fair, and offer a great sense of accomplishment when you complete them. There is no timer, so you can take as long as you need to work them out, which is appreciated because I got stuck on some of the puzzles for quite some time. But that could be due to my incompetence and my inability to use my brain at 3am. So is it fun? I'd say so. The game made me think, which isn't something I often do, so it burned me out rather quickly. But I can definitely see myself going back every now and again to complete some puzzles. So, to me, it's worth checking out. Speaking of checking out... Check this out. Does that do anything for you? I don't know how to end videos.